with Team USA coach Richie Mead after a win against Loyola at Champion Challenge here in Florida. Uh, coach, again, this is another step in the evaluation process uh, for you guys. Um, you got to look at it, a lot of different guys today. Um, were you you're pretty much pleased with the effort a, out of all these guys? Yeah, the uh, the effort's been uh, the effort's been outstanding for the last three days. You know, Friday night, you know, we had a really tough two and a half two hour practice. Uh, yesterday we scrimmaged Notre Dame. That was uh, that was you know 60 minutes, and then we came back and and played today. And I thought uh, I thought our effort level was very high. I'm very impressed with that throughout the whole weekend. I was really impressed with Loyola, and obviously they're a very well coached, seasoned college lacrosse team, and they you know they play with that confidence that you play with when you win a championship. And so uh, it was a good. It was a good uh, evaluation for us for the last several days, and we'll look at these films and get on a conference call and evaluate all the players, and just keep moving forward in the process. Did anything, you know, first impressions? Anything stand out to you today as far as you know differences in, in this game? Uh, not really. I mean, Loyola played at a much faster pace than Notre Dame played at. You know, I think we were uh, we were a little bit more emotional today. We played a little bit. Uh, with a little bit more passion uh, than we played yesterday, I think, you know, playing in front of a crowd in uniforms. But, uh, you know, I, I, you know, we got a lot of really good lacrosse players to work through here, and we're going to have to pick 23 of them. Uh, we're going to get down to 40, you know, get down to the, to the group that's going to try out, then get down to 40, then get down to 23. We've got a long way to go in that process. There's a lot of good players, and it's going to be a difficult, difficult process to choose the ones we finally choose. Yeah, and just talk about, I guess, today's, you know, who's name player of the game, Sam Bradman, uh, D3 guy coming from Salisbury. Obviously, a lot of people have seen him before, but for him to have the type of game he had on this stage playing with these guys, I'm sure. Uh, well, he, you know, he's a good player. You know, uh, Simon is another guy that came from Division Three. who's, we're all shaking our heads trying to figure out, like, where we were several years ago when he was being recruited. But there's a lot of good players. You know, guys develop at different times. And that's all part of the process. You know, Sam got a chance to come out here and play, and he made the most of his opportunity. It's going to speak well for him, you know, moving forward. And, uh, you know, that's just part of the whole process. There's going to be surprises. There's going to be people that everybody thinks, you know, uh, everybody knows. And then there are going to be guys that come out of nowhere. And, and those are two examples of guys that have come out of nowhere and really made their mark so far in this process. Great, Coach. Thanks. All right. Thank you.